Hello and welcome to our Space Apps Challenge 2023 on magnetic reconnection and space weather effects. I'm Dr. Abigail Reimer and together with my colleagues Dr. Asai Shumei and Janine Fisher will be working with you to explore the access of the Earth's magnetosphere, of the solar wind to the Earth's magnetosphere. So that's the fiery thing you see coming from the side and there's a plasma injection going off and the, these are the Earth's magnetic field lines and that's creating the aurora on the Earth and what you might be familiar with as the Earth's northern lights. And what we want to explore is using the uh, many decades of NASA data in the solar wind to see if there's a correlation between solar season, um, solar wind type, Earth season or anything else that will provide insight into what are the solar wind conditions that most easily can access the Earth's magnetosphere. So we thought this was a great activity for data mining um, and we have a lot of data um, and in particular we're going to focus on three spacecraft which are at the Lagrange 1 point, so upstream of the Earth, sort of roughly co-located with each other. Um, they've been there for um, the wind since 1994 ACE has been there since 1997 and the most recent one is Discover which was launched in 2015. There's a link here which is um, available to you in the material circulated as part of the Space Apps Challenge that will take you to the OmniWeb Data um, Centre which anyone with a PhD in plasma physics is, is very aware of and most of us have cut our teeth on at some point in our careers so we'll be here to help guide you as you gather that data set. So as well as gathering all the data together and, under, and getting to have a deeper appreciation for the NASA data sets and, and the amount of information that we have available to us, um, at the end of this challenge you will have a deeper appreciation for how our star expands into space. So here's a view that was created by the New Horizons team. So here's the planet Pluto out to the side here and Earth is buried in the middle somewhere here. And you can see in this plane the solar wind is expanding in this spiral shape. And, um, and I'm quite excited to um, share with you some more of the deep understanding that we have as our, of, of our solar system as a result of all of this amazing data that NASA has been taking for the last several decades. So I, I'm, I'm very excited to see what our global community come up with and, uh, and to, to meeting you all. Um, I'm sure that you are going to be equal to the task and it's going to be a very exciting challenge. So have at it. Thank you very much.